Well, hello. Um, I know a lot of you have been waiting for a video like this for a while now, but uh, here we are. Um, I had to replace the camshaft in my one point in my spare 1.6 carbureted head because um, the exhaust lobe on the fourth cylinder was worn down um, below specifications and significantly lower than the other <coughs> cam lobes on every other cylinder. So um, I got a new camshaft. So this is the new guy. And this is the old one. Uh, so like I said, this is a 1.6 carbureted camshaft for a North American engine. And this is a 1.6 high output um, or EFI camshaft for a North American CVH engine. So, um, they're supposed to fit into each other without any issues, um, because the only difference between the high output engine and the normal engine is the cam. Uh, the carb is slightly different, and the high output cars have headers. Those are the only differences. Uh, a rumor is that the high output cars have different catalytic converters. I'm still looking into that. I'll know more soon. But anyhow, um, as far as differences go, I'm not really seeing much so far. Um, these do have a taller lift than these. Um, I'll put down what the specifications of each should be in the description, but the old cam on the right here is supposed to have like um, 0 0.225 inches of lift, while the high output cam is supposed to have like 0 0.240 inches of cam lift. Um, they didn't say anything about the uh, the duration, but um, I'm looking at these here, and I did measure it out. The, the high output cam here does have um, better lift or taller lift, I mean. And I'm looking it over, it also appears to have longer duration, um, which is good because I put this in a car. This will be adding uh, 10 horsepower uh, between this cam, the slightly different carb that I mentioned, and headers. Um, so this this engine will have headers, and it will have a cam, and it will have bite carbs. So we will definitely exceed that 10 extra horsepower over the uh, non-high output cam. Anyhow, why did I get this cam? Well. I know that they're interchangeable without any issues. Um, no roller cam in America exists for this engine yet. I'm in contact with a machine shop that might be able to convert this old one to a roller after it gets reground. So I'm looking into that. That would be terrific. Um, uh, but this was only 10 more dollars than a normal uh, 1.6 carbureted camshaft. One of these brand, or not brand new, new old stock off eBay was going to be about $30. One of these was going to be 40 So I thought, well, you know what, $10 for 10 more horsepower? Yeah, I can make that work. I can swing that. So I did. Um, yeah, like I said, they're, they're pretty much the same. Uh, the oil passageway is different here on the first journal. It's 90 degrees off. Uh, same with the second, fourth, and fifth journals. Um, and I did notice that the high output cam has a thinner core than the normal one. I'm not sure how much. I'll have to measure it sometime. Um, but the, or maybe it isn't. Maybe they're the same and 
just the whole base circle on every single cam is is taller on one than the other. I don't know. I'll mic it out and I'll, I'll include it in the description because it's any differences I find between these um, I personally find quite interesting so we'll dig into that more uh, fuel pump lobe I expect those to be the same I, I assume that the fuel pump will only work in a, in a few different ways so you know and the, the high output cam is not going to instantly rev to grand higher than the normal one you know so that. Um, I'll include in the description all the numbers on these between them. There's a all have different number codes on them, so I'll be sure to write those down sometime for you. Aside from that, that's that's about it. Um, we'll put the new cam in. We'll get the old one reground uh, to be as good as the new one or better. Um, but anyways, um, I get that cam in this head and we'll be, <laughs> we'll be pretty hot. So, I love it. Can't wait to see how that goes. Um, so just keep an eye out for further videos. Thanks guys.